Hi, I'm sick today. I got sick, and I don't know how I got sick. Yep. How did I get sick? Talking, and his mouth germs are towards me. Here, I'll so do this. I might, I might be the next time you see a video. All right. With us. So here's here's how I'm going to do the rest of the video. Does this fix the problem? No. Are you sure? Yep. What if I stick my nose out of it? That extra does not fix the problem. <laughs> that doesn't fix it at all. All right. <laughs> Can I do the video like this? <laughs> I really like the, this look. <laughs> I gotta pull it down. I won't be able to do the video. I'll laugh too hard. All right, hold on. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. It's real thin mucus. It's not thick, which is like the first stage of it. And then I think it eventually will get very thick. Can you, when you're talking, can you like at least point it the other way? I'm pointing it like the only way I know how. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about a bunch of new Funko announcements that I'm excited about. Have you seen this show before? Yes. This show, no you haven't seen this show. Mm -hmm. You're lying. I've you're seen not... the first episode with you. You watched it like the last 10 minutes because I forced you to. No, it was the, it was the first out whole episode. Did you like it? Like twice, yeah. Okay, anyway, cool. I don't believe you. This is Invincible, the new Amazon TV show, but it originally was a comic mm -hmm. by the guy who did Walking Dead, okay. Kirkman. Robert Kirkman. Robert Kirkman. Omni-Man ah! and Invincible. What? Now my nose is running. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, I hope you don't get it. It's probably from you sitting right here. I don't here want to spread it or anything. Doing. You don't care. Somebody's asking a golden question here. Will there be more Invincible Pops? And that's a very good question. I, I need to know, it. are they making more Invincible I Pops? Because it. I will buy all of them. I want the whole set. I want this. I want them all. I Do want, you want everything. Do you me to answer it or are you just going to keep talking? Go ahead. Of course they're going to make more because they obtained the license. They're not just going to make one pop from a series with a license. So one other thing that popped up today that I was really super stoked over is the sleeping Godzilla. That is stupid. That takes up the bottom part of the box. Why not? So, is there a reason why they didn't make this a sideways box, Funko Pop? Like, why wouldn't you put it in the sideways box? Or and just made a whole different, like, smaller size box in general because maybe it doesn't fit in the but sideways box. But it's just like, box. yeah, it has it's like weird. a full, like, it's like half a box is full here. Yeah. It's like the size of a group Funko Pop. Yeah, like a baby this group. Is, this, is, this is really good. I love this, though. Cool. This is one that I would really like to pick up because I think it's just really fun and funny and different because he's laying down. That's cool. It, does it glow in the dark? No. Oh, come on. It should glow in the dark. Godzilla doesn't even sleep. What he's do you even mean? laying down. He doesn't sleep. He probably sleeps. Yes, it, he does. But you don't see him sleep because he's Godzilla. He's always causing trouble. Well, he's resting, Heather. No, you don't rest when you're... Big old lizard monster. Oh my god, this guy says that looks like a whole bag of dicks. Has he? Oh. Jeez. Actually, a... it sort of does. <laughs> does it? Oh my god, it does. <gasps> that person is not wrong. No, they're not. That does look like a hive of hogs. Yeah, I wouldn't call That is unbelievable. I wouldn't have yeah. noticed that. Thank you, uh, UMMXU, for saying that because you're right. It looks like a bunch of hogs. Yeah. That is really weird, right? Do you think that's like do you think that's like the Little Mermaid yeah. cover art? Yeah, for the and it's film, like the VHS? someone did that as a joke, but it actually passed. That is really weird. That's 100% what it is. Do you think so? But because we're pointing it out, maybe they'll change it before production. Wait, is it available now? Do you think they're going to point? No, 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 it's not available now. What's it say? Yeah. Uh, oh, pre pre-order pre now, but it's not the real final thing. When does it say when it's going to ship? Go go no. to that link. Can, I, I I can't can you copy it. Hold on, I'm going to copy and paste it. Hold on. Let me see if I can't do this. Hold on here. Um. March twelfth. No. Mar oh, March eleven. Mar oh yeah okay March yeah 11th. they've got it really close so pre it's... i'm gonna pre-order one of these you know what i'll come back but i'm gonna pre-order one of those Th that thing's coming on something <laughs> a lot on all the fans many times 
<laughs> I but, can't believe that. So Mark, I, you know what? When I wanted to talk about this, I never thought that that's what would be the end result conversation. There's a bunch of wieners Is on that there. it's a bag of hogs. It's a bunch of hogs. A ridiculous amount of hogs. Yeah. Can you believe that that is really going on that Funko Pop? I can't even believe that. That is weird. I'm, I'm telling you, Heather. That looks like somebody set the art up to look like hogs. Yeah, listen, that's not. That's not like. That's intentional. It's too. It's too close to the release date for them to change it. I got a question for you. What? And this is going to sound insane. Okay. Is it possible that there was an artist who was about to leave, like be let yeah. go or laid off, yeah. Oh, yeah. and they decided to go hog wild? Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended, but maybe. And put a bunch of hogs on the back of this Godzilla. Yeah, it was like the middle finger except with dicks. <laughs> <laughs> they said, you're going to let me go? Well, suck it. Oh my, yeah, literally. A lot of it. <laughs> Jeez, that's crazy. I cannot, I, well, I have to order it now. Can we get a spike in a 10 inch asking for a friend? You want a 10 inch version of this? Just the spike. Oh, Heather is back. Oh, Heather, you're disgusting. Somebody's asking, is it a six inch or regular? I, Perfect question for I this. Think, for, for I think drop. this would look good in an 18 inch. How is he sleeping, though? His eyes are open. That's what I'm wondering. Right? Well, with that many dicks, how could you have your eyes closed? I know. You You never know their next move. That's really weird. Got to keep your eyes on. Did you guys them. think that we would end up talking about Godzilla with a back of full of dicks? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that person left that comment. So I'm you, wondering if we would have noticed. With a person having back acne, you call it back acne. What do you call this? Bix. <laughs> Bix. This um, Godzilla. Z, Godzilla. Box. No, Godzilla like has. Box. He, no, he has box, a. He has a, No, he has a problem. He has what we call Bix. Back Cox. Bix. I like Bix better. Yeah, Bix is good. B i c k s. Bix. He's got a bunch of Bix on his back. <laughs> He, bro he broke out in Bix. Jeez, I can't even believe that's a thing. I cannot believe it. Could you imagine, it. like, if you were going through a bout of back knee, but instead of pimples, they turned into a bunch of dicks? A bunch of, just imagine that. A bunch of Bix. God, that would be so embarrassing. <laughs> so here are all the Godzilla characters that are coming. Are there so. <laughs> dicks coming out of the fire, too? <laughs> it may be. I don't know. No, for real. Can you zoom in on that? Oh, those are definitely dicks. Oh. Look at him. They're really... It's he's got dicks out. on his back, on his tail, coming out Look. of his mouth. Look. Yeah. Somebody did that on purpose. Is that... you? Not the fire, though. Oh, yeah. Those no, are, I don't those. think so. Look! Chris. You right can't here? get any closer. Right here. That's a head. Oh, my God, it is. That's a head. <gasps> That's a head. That's a head. Heather, we just stumbled upon... Well, like, because of that person, that I've ever but because seen in of that my person's life. comment, we stumbled upon this. So thank you for pointing this out. But that 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 cannot be just a, a, a screw up or somebody thinking that looks somebody, like fire or spikes. No, nobody drew dicks unknowingly. That's true. I mean, you never do. No, that was intentional. It's was well, always intentional. You know, I've stumbled a lot of upon a lot of things in my life, but I've never stumbled upon this many dicks. No. Never. Bix. Well, some are in the mouth and some are in the tail. <laughs> so what do you call them? Some are in the mouth and some are in the tail. Some people call that DP. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm I'm shocked. Well, let's talk about the rest of the Fungo Pops. I, I don't want sort of to. Caught. I want to talk about Godzilla some okay, more. Godzilla, the, the filth ball Godzilla. And then you have King Kong. What if King Kong had a big old dong swinging that off That would be, him? I mean, that would add to the fun, I think. But that, there he is wearing, he's wearing like um like a little. It's a Thanos like a, gauntlet. Like a brace or gauntlet Yeah, or I didn't know that he was in the MCU. Then there's another character who's the supervillain that looks like Kratos, but as That's a what I was going to say. He right? looks like Kratos. Yes, the new villain. Then there is this Godzilla-looking Look, thing. there's no dicks on well, there. Well, that thing looks like it's made of crystals. That looks different. This Maybe that's looks what Godzilla was supposed to look like. Maybe. But instead, they know. gave him a bunch of wieners. Then there's, I think this is like a young King Kong, like his kid. Hmm. Godzilla, Dick Godzilla again. 
And then there's King Kong supersized. Look at all those. Oh my God, look, they're supersized dicks. Mm -hmm. I know, but go look at King Kong. Down here? Either one. Look at all the scars on his chest. He looks cool. Do you think that's from Godzilla whipping <laughs> his dicks around? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, go down. Go down. <laughs> With all this dick talk, I don't know how I feel about saying go down. What? <laughs> What are you okay. looking at? I thought I saw wiener toes, but I don't. <laughs> wiener toes, no. I did, I thought. No, Heather, there are, there are listen, no wiener toes. now everything that I look at, I'm going to think there's just, wieners till I can debunk it. It's just a bunch it. of, it's a bunch of Ds. Yeah. Well, Very good, Heather. Wow. I can't believe they gave Godzilla dicks in his mouth and on his back. Scar King. Scar King is the, is the Kratos figure. I didn't know what his name was. Shimu. That's a cool, that's a cool funny. Oh my god. What's his name? I don't want to talk about it. His name's Sucko. I think it's Suko. Is it Suko? But I mean, in the land of Godzilla decks, the, the only way you can pronounce it is Sucko. Uh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I can't believe they're making a Funko Pop with wieners on it. This is almost as good as Seth's lunchbox dick treasure chest. You realize that, right? It's like a bunch of hidden dicks we stumbled upon. How could this... I can't even believe this. <laughs> How did that get past a bunch of people? I really don't know. I'm I mean, shocked that we found that. Uh, and by the way, thank you yeah, to thank the guy you who the pointed guy who that out. Commented. Thank God for you, dude, because I would have never noticed that. Well, maybe we would have if we analyzed it enough. Hold on, are we analyzing, analyzing it? it enough? We would have figured it out. But oh check my. this out. Another Eddie Munson. Yeah. They're capitalizing on that Eddie Munson like you've never is, seen before. This is like, they just totally hoed Eddie yeah, Munson out. This is like fluffy. It is. So let me just make a couple of, of uh, statements about this. Okay. First off, I love the pop. I like when they do cool. translucent. It looks translucent and red. I don't know if that's going to be the final figure or not because this is just a glam. But the other thing is the shirt. I wish the shirt was the red Eddie. It would have been cool. I if don't it know. Were red. I just wish it didn't say Eddie months. I'm really fine big. with it because it reminds me of like. It looks like, like a, a band, band tee, but yeah. like, I don't know. It's like too big or so. I don't know. It seems really corny. You think so? I don't know. I don't, I don't really think so. I think it looks cool. Yeah. I mean, imagine like if I was wearing a shirt of your face and it just said Chris Gasselcast. I don't know why you don't have that. That shirt I do, exists. I do have a shirt of you on it. It says trash. Yeah. Look, this person says the shirt is cool, but we have seen this pop so many times. WTF Funko. I agree. I mean, I think we're doing a little too much, but I think, I don't know. This one's kind of cool. It's okay, a fun variant. Okay, the shirt definitely looks cool. But enough with uh, Eddie variant pops. I think this is like the 10th one now. Way too many. It is. Like, we've gotten a lot of 11 too, but I feel like a lot of those have been spread out. Like, once they found out that the target Eddie was hard to get, they just started throwing Eddie at our faces. This just like Godzilla and his hogs. <laughs> this person said, I'll take target exclusive for 1,000. I agree. It definitely is going to be a target exclusive, considering it's red. I mean, that it just makes sense. It looks like it has a Funko exclusive sticker. Jolly Rancher Eddie. Did you I hear like what that. I said? What? I said it looks like a Funko exclusive. Yes, it is sticker. a Funko exclusive. So it's going to be somewhere in the States. That's just a overseas sticker there. Oh, that's a special edition? Yes. Oh. That's the new sticker. But Jolly Rancher, Eddie, Infinity Stone, Eddie. Could we have done a new sculpt at least? I don't know. I like that sculpt. I think it's a fun sculpt. Yeah, and I don't it's even fun. think we own a sculpt of that yet, do we? Uh, yes, we do. In the poster. The cover. Yeah, the, the yeah, poster but cover. The, the thing is, as long as it's different enough from the other ones that are sculpted the same way, I'm fine with it. I think it is a very cool piece, but like, for real, enough with Eddie. You like, think it's enough? Yeah, if you haven't watched Stranger Things, turn this off right now and skip like 10 seconds ahead. But Eddie fucking died. Yeah, but people like, are stating that he's going to come back, Heather. Uh, yeah, he does keep canceling appearances and they're filming right now. So he might be, but he what, might if it's just, what if it's just for flashback scenes? Could be. 
This person I had to unhide it says this is getting out of hand. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like the this the the limit does not exist gif. What's that about? That's from Mean Girls. They're, they're saying like they're not limiting. No, no, no. I know that, but why is it the limit? What? what why is she mean saying girls. that? It's Mean Girls. It was a. They were doing like a math thing. Okay. It was, it was a question. And then I think the last thing I wanted to talk about before we get to an unboxing is this new Ahsoka pop. So Ahsoka, we were talking to our friend uh, Nick Mastromico, and he basically said that Ahsoka is the Batman of Star Wars. And he's, and he's pretty accurate by saying that. And Eddie is the Batman of Stranger Things. But they make a ton Wait, of Ahsoka Darth, pops. Does that mean Darth Vader isn't? No, because I think they have more Ahsoka pops than any other character. Don't quote me on that, but it sure seems like it. Someone they have a do ton the math Ahsoka. and let us know. Do they have more Ahsoka or more Vader? Because we're lazy and we're not doing it. Yeah, thanks. But this Funko Pop is a her your her universe. That's her weird. universe exclusive. That's really weird. But it's a diamond series or diamond exclusive diamond collection, Ahsoka, and I am not totally against this. No, I think I think it's a very cool pop. It's really weird that it's a Her Universe exclusive. I think that's the first Her Universe exclusive they've done. So do you know what Her Universe is? No. They do like apparel. Hmm. And accessories. Really? Yes. Is that a Hot Topic thing? It's a box lunch thing. They might sell it, Summit Hot okay, Topic, so but I know it's they hot topic. do Summit box <clears throat> lunch. The reason too. why I know this is when we were setting up everything for Emo Gasly to go up on HotTopic.com, mm -hmm. the part of the branding was her, like her universe. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like it all goes together. Got it. So I, w I really want that when someone says, but the shipping to my place is almost $25. That's that? insanity. Like, where do you live? Uranus? This, this feels unnecessary. Like I get it for Vader. He's like the poster boy of Star Wars, but this doesn't doesn't make any sense. Oh my God, we got five comments. You ready to read oh, these? No. You think they're going to attack him or you think they're going to be pro the cut? It's always either one way or the other. Maybe you think, both. Well, let me ask you this. Is it going to be more pro or more con? Like more against it or more for it? Come on, Heather. Against it. There's going to, okay. be, there's going to be people defending Ahsoka. You think people are going to defend Ahsoka? Yes. All right, here we go. I'll be honest. No, I, go up. Oh, go up. There's two more. What oh, about the Diamond Grogu and Diamond R2-D2? Curious about your thoughts on that. Ooh, calling them out. I forgot those two existed. Okay, you can't take the easy way out. Up, up, Cam. up. Somebody said that's understandable. They're down with it. They're like, that's okay. or the person saying it's, that's fine. Okay, cool. This person says it's exclusive to Ashley Eckstein's store. What does that mean? Ashley Eckstein is the voice actress of Ahsoka. From the, like, right, TV, but the it TV says show. it's a Her Universe exclusive. So I, I think it's cool and it makes sense. I don't know. Maybe it's sold on her. I don't know. Is Her Universe Hold on. A by Ashley Eckstein? I don't know. I don't know. But it says it's older on her. I don't know. We'll have to look. I, I don't have my phone right here, now. Here, here, here. Just oh. look. Here. We got look. new phones and mine's transferring. Okay, let's see. I'll never be mad about more Ahsoka Pops. I like that. I love Ahsoka, but way, but way, or I guess why do she need to me? Oh my God. I'm going to, that hurts. I love Ahsoka, but why does she need <laughs> Need a glitter, I guess. Okay, Ashley Eckstein is the founder of her universe. What? Yep, I had no idea. Okay. Okay, so it says Hot Topic and, and Box Lunch both have her universe. Okay, her universe, and they wonder why the ratings for that show was so bad. Okay. No more diamonds. Well, like Glamour Funko said that. Really, Funko, can we get a new mold? Everybody likes Ashley Eckstein. Will these mysteriously disappear like the Hall H ones? That's a good question. I wonder the same thing. Somebody said, lame. Why are people such a-holes? You know, it's like these people out there calling uh, Fungo Pops trash and yelling trash and stuff. Just people are animals, aren't they? Mm -hmm. What a bunch of pieces of shit. Hey. Where can yeah, I get would, this? Who would call that uh, Funko trash? I don't know. Ga oh, look, somebody tagged us. Michelle Days. Gasocast pop for autograph. Wondering laugh emoji. You know what? This, whoop, this one is cool. 
great idea. But I, I wouldn't because it's an Ashley Eckstein. It's not from the, the actual television show live action, so I couldn't go for what it. Do but mean? I do like the pop. It's not? No, this is not from the live action. This is Did from... Did you know that they have really pretty um, clothing and stuff? Do they? Yeah, they also have our universe. I want it here. Real quick. Thoughts. On? This. Oh, my God. I am so... That is a pop that I will be buying. So what is this? What am I looking it's at? It's Sirius Black holding Peter Pettigrew. Why is he holding Peter Pettigrew? So, in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, they find out... Remember the map? The Marauder's Map. The Marauder's map. map. I know Peter the Marauder's Pettigrew, Map. Peter Pettigrew, who died, who they think died years and years and years ago, when Voldemort was like a big thing, they didn't realize that he could transform into a rat. And he was Ron Weasley's pet rat for the longest time. And he was missing a little rat finger. Guess what? All they found at the scene of Peter Pettigrew's death was his human finger. What? So the rat, who was actually Peter Pettigrew, who was missing the little rat toesy, was Peter Pettigrew. Holy But listen, balls. Sirius Black figured it out and he forced Peter Pettigrew to um, transform into a human. What movie is this from? You said it's for The Prison Prisoner of Azkaban, your favorite movie. Somebody the other day said The Prisoner of Azkaban is the worst Harry Potter film. And apparently that's a like a, a thing that people agree on. It's a poor adaption. Why did I love it so but much? It's a great movie. They're great movies. Yeah, they said they had, yeah, you're right. The adapt the adaptation, it didn't it's, have enough in it. It's it's difficult to put as much from the books into the movies. Right. Like it, it would be really difficult to translate a lot of that to it's movies. It's like trying to stuff one more dick on the back of Godzilla. You just can't do it. There's it's too many It's very back there. hard. It's very hard and very hairy. <laughs> it's a hairy situation. This person asked, are we going to see the full wave? Dis himself responded, only him right now, there could be others soon. What Whoa. do you think? I saw a Hagrid holding Harry's letter pop. Oh, that's so boring. It really? Is boring. Yeah. Somebody said, my man. So, Heather, you'll I be buying Sirius that? Black. Yes, I will be. And I have not bought new pops for myself in a long time. Look, I'm buying a Godzilla dick back. I'm buying uh, probably multiple Godzilla dick backs. You're going to need to. I'm going to take them all. that Invincible pop. By the way, the Invincible thing... Did you hear thing, what I said? What? Take them all. I'm taking all the... I gotcha. <laughs> I'm going to buy the, the Invincible thing over at... I think it's on Entertainment Earth. I think it's available right now. So I think I'm going to go buy one. I hate buying from them. I really do. I mean, they're not bad, but I... And that's where we buy all our U2s. Everything works out with that. But why are you making that face? I don't like Entertainment Earth. Do that face again? I don't like that face. If you could like never do that again, that'd be great. That'd it looks look like good. a Snapchat filter. It does look like a Snapchat filter. So I do have a box to open. It's my Spider-Man blue box. And I don't really want to talk so much about it. I, I just kind of want to show this stuff and then just say that I did. But there's a cool t-shirt in here. Like the rest of it's okay. Okay, let's look. So the t-shirt I'm really excited about. I don't really give a crap about the t-shirts. But this one actually has some villains and I really okay. like the design of it. So here's the design. Yeah. Look at that. Look at all the villains. Gwen oh, Stacy's on there. I really like it. You know why it's cool? Because Spider-Man has them all in his web. So apparently this story is a like a Valentine's like love story sort of oh, thing. Oh, these and are And Spider-Man apparently is... Gwen Stacy dies in the Spider-Man books. And he ends up getting with Mary Jean. Now, this is what I read on Wikipedia. And I could be wrong about this because Wikipedia isn't always right. But, but you know, Gwen, Gwen, hold on. Gwen Stacy dies. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, misses her. He's with Mary Jean. He loves Mary Jean, but he still misses her. And now they're ghosts. No, no, no. no. Why are they blue? And, and because I think that's just how the maybe the book is like that. Like the comic book. They're all blue. Oh. But Mary Jean loves Peter so much that she understands how he misses Gwen Stacy. So it's kind of a sweet like story. What but I guess there are some villains that sort of wrap into this, I guess, because there's a bunch of villains on the shirt. Now, I've never why read would the comic, anyone but... try to ruin Spider-Man's life like that? That's fucked up. Like, let him and Gwen Stacy have their weird ghost thing. 
and let it be that. There's no ghost to think. Then why are they blue? So here's a Daily Bugle press pass, which I think is cool, photo yeah. pass. And then here's a sticker and it says, it says Face It Tiger, which is from the comic books. So look at that. How do you like that? These I are cool, know. huh? They're fine. I like them. No, they're really cute. I like that they have almost like a Valentine's aesthetic. She's holding what looks to be either a box of chocolates or like a heart-shaped paper valentine and he has a rose mercari right now if i saw i saw this the other day i swear i did it's a spider-man valentine's funko pop yeah and this funko pop is going for ridiculous amounts of money yeah i don't know why which is really weird because i would have never expected to be popular this is actual sold ninety dollars 90 for this Funko Pop. That's it, weird. It's mint with protector. But I don't know if it's like one of those things where they didn't make a whole lot of these and like it's hard to come by. I'm not sure what the heck is going on. Look, $100, 99 90 Well, this 95. one was recently released, right? It, yes, but and it was uh, on Funko Shop. That's but look weird. at them. Look how expensive they are. Isn't that insane for... A Valentine's Day like Funko Pop? Mm -hmm. I, I can't believe that. I can't get over it. So if you know why they are going for so much, I'd love to know. I wonder if there was a glitch on the website and people were able to buy more than they were supposed to or there was a limited amount. Yeah, but if people so were more able flippers to buy or more, what? Well, then... I'm saying but pe like, people bought a ton, so they were able to flip them. So people were buying like 12 a each time they bought Yeah, them. but then people would start undercutting each other if there were a ton out there. I guess. When were the last sales of these? Let's see, the the newest one, that one we were just looking at, when did it sell? Does it tell you? It was posted 129. Updated six hours ago, it says. So it was sold six hours ago. Wow. That's crazy, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Hold on, what's this say? Sorry about the glare. Uh, it was branded with Funko Name in his limited edition, this figure. Is perfect for display purposes. It will make a great addition to it. Yeah, so there's nothing here that's talking about it being special in any way. It's just, it's just. They say they use the word rare. So. What's, cra what's crazier? Okay, listen up. What's crazier? Dicks on Godzilla's back. Or the Spider-Man selling for $90. Dicks on Godzilla's back. Really, I'm you sure. think so? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else is looking at these images, and nobody noticed that there were dicks on Godzilla. Bix. Bix. It's a whole treasure trove of Bix. It's a whole land of Bix. That's unbelievable. Well, do you guys also see Bix? We would like to know in the comment section you down below. You don't need to ask that. Of course you do. Do you think that the Valentine's Day Spider-Man selling for that much is really crazy? That is a lot. Do you like these new ways that we're doing our videos? We're doing it a little bit different. I think it's fun. It's a little bit more interactive. We're talking about stuff. We're showing things on on our, um, what is that called again? Screen? It was a sh <laughs> no. We're showing things on a stream lab. <laughs> on the screen. Browser? I, I, I should have just said screen, but I had to go and talk about the software. So let us know what you think about all that and more in the comment section down below. So in every video, we like to shout out to 10 of our patrons from Patreon because you guys are amazing. And just a reminder, this Saturday, February the 3rd at 9 p.m. Eastern, we will be going live with our patrons at levels two, three, and four to hang out, do giveaways, and show off all sorts of Mischief Toys items. A brand new Valentine's Day figure that we'll be dropping sometime very soon. We're not gonna announce that just yet, but sometime very soon. So make sure if you're a patron to show up because we also do giveaways that are in call only. But we do a lot of giveaways that are not in call only. So showing up in the call is a good way to maximize your wins, but we also have some for all level three and four patrons. Bingo, bango, Heather, ready to go, go. And then uh, we have an eight o'clock uh, which is an Co hour before the live. Cocktail hour, Cocktail where hour. you can mingle with yep. the rest of our patrons between eight and nine, and at nine o'clock, Chris and I come on. It's fun. For a few hours. Here we go. So here's the 10 names for tonight. Ashley Pratt, David Hutchinson, Raymond Melendez, Retrox, 
Julia Luke, Keisha it's Walker. Retro X, isn't it? Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Rice have Retrox. I know you did. Okay. Mitch Hayes, John Page 909, George Mendez, and Lil Stevie. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. We you appreciate oh, you well, all so much. Thank you, you, you for staying. You just interrupted. I'm still talking. Of course I did, because you don't stop talking, and people have I'm just, I'm just, tuned no, I'm you just, out by now. I'm just, just saying stop. thank you for being here, and thank you for staying until the end. And okay, Heather, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Okay, bye.